using some crummy old statue. Oh. <clears throat> this was not some crummy old statue. It was the namesake of our town. If you want to understand us, you must first understand her. Who? Sonambula. Long ago, this village fell prey to an evil sphinx who demanded most of their crops. Like her fellow villagers, Sonambula didn't have much, but she used what she had to keep others from giving up hope. The son of the pharaoh, Prince Hizan, was so moved by her compassion that he decreed no pony would go hungry again. When Hizan stood up to the Sphinx, the beast captured him, telling the pharaoh the only way to get Hizan back was to solve her riddle. No pony would volunteer to save the prince. No pony except Sonambula. The Sphinx gave her the riddle. I shine brightest in the dark. I am there, but cannot be seen. To have me costs you nothing. To be without me costs you everything. As Sonambula thought of the hardship she and her fellow villagers had experienced, she instantly knew the answer. Hope, she shouted. The Sphinx was so enraged, it seemed she might still refuse to release the prince. So Sonambula asked her for one more challenge. But if she accomplished it, the Sphinx would leave from the kingdom forever. The Sphinx quickly agreed, asking only that Sonambula walk to the prince across a deep chasm blindfolded. Further, the Sphinx had cast a powerful spell that prevented Sonambula from flying. <laughs> but Sonambula never lost hope. She knew she'd need to make a leap of faith to save the prince. Guided by the sound of the prince's voice, she easily made it across. The pharaoh asked how Sonambula prevailed, and she explained that she had always hoped she could make things better for her people, and that hope had carried her through. The prince replaced the pearl Sonambula gave up with a string of glopez, and around her neck they glowed bright enough to light the entire kingdom. Forever after, glopez became our symbol of hope. <laughs> wow, I had no idea how special the statue was to you. <laughs>